Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Hedonist Radio. This is Sydney, and we are going to talk about (laughs) peppermint today. (laughs) I have a couple stories about peppermint that I think you might appreciate, so I'm going to tell you about them because they are basically some hedonist fuck-ups of mine, and we're going to talk all about it. So hopefully you get a kick out of them. And let me, let me start with the more recent one. This one uh, happened probably about a year ago. So occasionally I will take some essential oils into the bath with me. You know, a few drops of lavender is really nice. Even eucalyptus I've really enjoyed having in the bath, but I love eucalyptus. And so... One day I was like, oh, you know what might be good is peppermint because I have some Epsom salt that has eucalyptus and peppermint in them. And just keep in mind, if you've ever messed around with essential oils, if you've ever played with them, they will tell you that you need to be careful because it's not something that like you would never want to just rub oregano oil on your skin directly. It would start burning, right? So Every oil does something different and you want to be super careful of how you use them because they're really powerful and things can go wrong. So I had this container of peppermint oil and it didn't have a dropper on top of it. It was kind of like an open, an open mouthed container and it, you know, it has a whole bunch of peppermint oil. It was a big container. And so I'm getting ready for the bath and I just dumped a little bit in the bath, not even thinking that I had done too much because remember, I'm filling up an entire bathtub filled with water. So I thought that that was enough to dilute it. Okay, so never, ever, 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 ever do what I'm about to tell you that I did. So I get in the bath thinking that I didn't actually put that much in. And I immediately notice that my body starts to feel cool, which, okay, peppermint is cooling. Yeah, got it. Okay, great. But then it won't stop. So it's cooling. And then that turned into, oh my God, this is burning. And then it turned into, oh my God, I need to get out of this bath. I can't take it. I can't even move. And I mean, every part of my body was on fire, okay? Every single part of it. I jump out of the bath because, I mean, I'm not just, I I can't sit in there any longer. I was mortified. I try drying myself off when I get out of the bath, but guess what? It's oil. So it's not that easy to get off your skin. So now I'm really starting to panic and my body is starting to drop in temperature so much. I didn't know this at the time, but a friend told me later on that my body probably dropped to like three degrees. So I'm desperately trying to wipe this peppermint oil off of my body. I'm shaking and shivering uncontrollably. Like if you had seen me in that moment, you would have asked me what was wrong with me because it was so extreme and so severe and I was shaking so horribly that it it just looked like an absolute nightmare. I was a mess. So then I ran downstairs into my bedroom and I hopped in a, I went into a different bathroom. I got into the shower. I'm trying to get this oil off of my body as best as I can and I'm desperately trying to get heat on my body. So it's like I'm trying to maneuver around in the shower, trying to have this warmth in my body because I can't fill up the tub with hot water because there's still oil on the inside of the tub from the peppermint that was in there. So it would just recreate the same thing. I am freezing. I have never been so cold in my entire life. Like, in the core of my body, I'm feeling cold. And the the weird thing is that it's like, what, 75 degrees, 76 degrees inside the house. It's not even that cool inside my actual living space. 
And so, I I mean, I'm layering on clothes, still trying to get all of this peppermint oil off my body, frantically freaking out about this. And I mean, over time, it eventually went away. But it was absolutely terrifying to be in that state because I I was scared that it wouldn't stop. I just didn't know how to get it to stop. And so that was my most recent fuck up with peppermint oil. But I did something smoking related, which was um, quite similar. It also had to do with peppermint. And um, so anyway, to wrap up the bath story, never, ever, ever dump a whole bunch of peppermint oil into your bath. Do not do this. Never do this, okay? And second of all, if you do have a large amount of peppermint oil on your body, my massage therapist told me that what I could have done was got a whole bunch of coconut oil, or I mean any carrier oil will do, and rub that on your body instead and it will dilute the oil. And so that is one thing that you can keep in mind in case you ever run into anything like that. Bust out a carrier oil. I mean, you could probably even use olive oil if you're really desperate if you didn't have anything. But use that as a way to dilute it after the fact if you need to. I hope to God none of you ever have to deal with that because let me just tell you, it was awful. It was a nightmare. Nobody should ever have to deal with that ever, ever, ever. Okay, let me tell you the peppermint bong story. So back in college, I used to date this pot grower, and he was from Atlanta, and so he had moved out to Portland specifically to grow weed. And this was really great for me because he would bring me free weed all the time. He would keep lots of weed at my apartment, and so it was just kind of a win-win across the board. And so... It was late one night and he was like, I I really want to get you a bong. He was very into like gifting and buying nice things for me or whatever. That was like his love language. I'm I'm pretty sure his love language was uh, gifts or at least that's how he expressed it. And so um, we go to this glass shop and I pick out a bong and it was super cool. I don't have it anymore, but it was really, really cute. I, I couldn't bring it with me, um, my most recent move. I just, and, and the downstem broke and whatever. It's another story. But we got that bong, really cute. We go back to my apartment and we're messing around with it. We're smoking. And for those of you who don't know, I used to smoke Newports. So I loved, uh, loved with every fiber of my being, menthol cigarettes. Oh my God, nothing was better, quite honestly. And still to this day, it's like there's part of me that just really loves the idea of a menthol cigarette, but I don't smoke anymore. It's been years since I've smoked. Um, So, you know, the craving is gone. It really doesn't feel good. Tobacco just gives me a wicked head rush. But aside from that, I had this idea. I was like, oh, I know what we can do. I'm just going to put one drop of peppermint in the bottom of the bong and it'll be like a menthol bong hit. It's going to be amazing. Oh, God. Young Sydney, if only, if only I could tell you what you're about to do to yourself. So, I put one drop of peppermint oil inside of the bong, pack a bowl, and when I, when I hit the bong, it was seriously the most indescribable feeling I've ever experienced in my entire life. So it was like ice fire inside of my lungs, but at the same time, I felt like it expanded my lungs way beyond what their normal capacity would be, which I think is something that peppermint is supposed to do, right? It's supposed to clear the pipes, essentially, in your breathing canals. And so when it got into my lungs, it was like really extreme expansion. 
and icy fire. So I immediately had to lean over. I exhaled. I wasn't coughing. I wasn't doing anything. I was just in extreme pain from this peppermint bong. And so I'm leaning over on my bed and the guy that I was dating was like, oh my God, are you okay? And it, it was interesting because after the initial bong hit with the peppermint, I dumped out the water. I knew there would still be peppermint oil in it. But when I filled it up with water again, and then he took a hit out of it, and it was fine. It was a little bit minty, but it was not, it, I mean, it was really great after the fact, but that initial one when I had the full potency peppermint inside of it, oh my god, it was awful. Truly, truly awful. And no, again, this is one of those things, just across the board, don't mess around with peppermint oil ever. I know it seems ridiculous, but you should never fuck with peppermint oil. Just don't do it. Spare yourself the agonizing experiences of peppermint. Use it wisely. Don't use beyond the uh, recommended dose and recommended amount because who knows, you might drop your body temperature by three degrees as I did in that bath or have your lungs catch fire when you take a bong rip. Who knows? Anything goes when it comes to peppermint oil. So, All of that being said, I just thought I would share my peppermint stories with you and hopefully you get a kick out of this. Don't put any peppermint oil in your bong for the love of God. Don't dump any peppermint in the bath. And that's all that I've got for you today. I hope you've had fun with me. And until next time, have a beautiful week, everybody. I appreciate you so, so, so much. Check me out on Instagram at The Hedonist Project, and I will talk to you all later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.